then you know what you learn from there. My ear shut. That's me. <laughs> Just a few lines to let you know that I'm still alive. I'm writing this letter slowly, as I know that you cannot read fast. Well, mother, I can read fast now, okay? You will not know the house when you come home. We moved. It was a lot of trouble moving. The most difficult thing was the bed. You see, the man wouldn't let us take it in the taxi. It wouldn't have been so bad if your father hadn't been in it at the time. About your father, he has a lovely new job. He has 800 people under him. He's cutting grass at the cemetery. Your sister got herself engaged to that fellow she's been going with. He gave her a beautiful ring with three stones missing. Interesting. Our neighbors started raising pigs. We got the wind of it this morning. I got my appendix out in the dishwasher and put in. There was a washing machine in the new house when we moved in, but it isn't working too well. Last week I put four shirts into it, pulled the chain, and haven't seen the shirts since. <laughs> Your little brother came home from school yesterday crying. Well, that's too bad. All the boys at his school have new suits. We can't afford to buy him a new suit, but we're going to buy him a new hat and let him stand at the window. <laughs> Very thoughtful. Your sister Mary had a baby this morning. I haven't heard yet if it's a boy or a girl, so I don't know if you're an aunt or an uncle. Thank <laughs> you.